What's up, everybody? Once again, it's Brand Man Sean, and this video is brought to you by BrandManNetwork.com because I signed myself. Now, this snippet right here is from an interview I did with DJ Payne One. Dude has had a lot of successes as a producer. You can look up his discography, but he is talking about something that mentality wise, a lot of artists, producers as well, need to take heed to. Check this out. It's the network. Is there anything that you see with artists? or producers um, that like that when they're trying to work their way up, there's, is there any kind of commonality that you see in terms of like some psychological lines that they have drawn that are holding them back? Oh my God. Yeah. There are a million. I think all of the lines that are holding them back are psychological. Uh, one big one is thinking that you already need some kind of insane budget, some kind of crazy industry support mm. to, to, to create a career for yourself. Um, that, I mean, thinking there's no middle ground, thinking it's either you, you're, you're failing or you're, you're winning on this grand scale. That's a terrible way to think. Uh, and you have, I, I've had conversations with people that say, you know, if you don't get signed, what's the point? Uh, well, Oof. you could make a living doing what you love isn't that kind of cool you can do that without being signed you can have <laughs> touch if you're not touching tens of, of, of millions of people's lives you can touch 10,000 people's lives and mm. that's your livelihood doesn't that sound good to you um, so that's a that's a psychological barrier there's just a lot you know and you can see it in the way certain people move I think the other major psychological barrier is just not wanting to or not understanding that this is a, a long game. This is, we should know the whole marathon concept by now. Oh. Uh, and we say it, but some of us don't actually embody that because we want it now, which is the reason I got 10 producers every day in my inbox trying to sell me beats. And then when I say, uh, take me off this list, I'm a producer. Oh, okay, fam, I'm just trying to hustle any way I can. Or, or why are you in your feelings? Um, <laughs> I'm, ju I'm just doing what everybody's doing. Yeah, because, well, number one, that's not true. And, and number two is because you want it now. You want me to buy a beat, you want me to put money in your pocket, but you don't want to take the time that, that it requires to build a, some kind of trust a, to the point where people feel comfortable spending their money with you. That's not something we need to take lightly. And people get so for all all artists these days with the internet, they they apply that instant gratification concept that the internet is so good at instilling in our in our brains. They they apply that to their long term music careers. Okay, if you do that, you're gonna fail. Sorry, but that's your choice. You either look around and and see people like Tech Nine and see people like Macklemore, whoever, and 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 you see well, oh, they got famous overnight. Well. No, they didn't go back. They've been doing this for, for years and years and years. But that's your choice to see it on the surface level. Mm. And if you see it on the surface level, of course, everything's going to look like like instant gratification. And somebody who actually has experience in the game will come along and tell you it's different and, and, and you have it wrong. And then um, a lot of the times, unfortunately, people will lash out at them as haters or lash out at them as, as discouragers rather than people who are trying to give you a reality check. So mm. it's all mental. It's the network. Now, if you want to see the snippet where he goes deeper into things, you can check out the full thing on brandmannetwork.com. But just while we're here, all right, I want to just take a note of a few things that he said, because this mentality of the huge budget, needing a lot of money. I know there's numbers out there like the $150,000 that we talked about earlier on this channel, and especially in the Wendy Day interview. That is a real number, but you have to think that there's a reason that that number is required and it doesn't apply to every single scenario. So let's talk about what those bigger budgets typically apply to. Well, if you have an artist and this artist is, you know, not too much going on and I want to get this artist to a point of monetizing their music, having something more sustainable and really potentially getting a record deal to get signed and have some sort of leverage right in that scenario to be able to get into the millions and things like that, well, that's 
what we're talking about when we look at that budget and getting to that point and blowing up and building that type of buds. That's a real thing. The number is not something to be discredited. So I don't want to get that mentality out there, but that's a very specific scenario versus all these other scenarios where you can live as an artist, as DJ Payne one alluded to, right? There's a lot of ways that you can still get even into that position without just having that budget immediately. And this is when we look at the marathon concept that we hear so much. Of course, Nipsey Hussle popularized it, coined the phrase. And the biggest thing that really reflects that mindset is just having a longer timeline. So if you're looking at trying to blow up in the next year and every single year you say, I'm gonna blow up this year. And every single year you say, yo, this is gonna be the one, I'm gonna catch one. Then you're putting yourself in a position to constantly be thinking short term and constantly make short term bad decisions. Where if you made a bigger time timeline in the first place, if you instantly just switch from at least from one year to three years, your decision making will start being completely different. And now you'll be looking more at, yo, let me build some relationships and let me look at this. And I don't need anything from this person, but let me get to know this person and understand what they got going on. And even if they're going anywhere in their career, or maybe they'll be able to be a help down the line. I don't even know how they might be helpful, but they might be helpful down the line. You start to make completely different strategic decisions and is going to contribute to your long-term success. So keep that in mind because that puts you in a position to make bad decisions when you have a short timeline, especially in this music thing. And that's how you're probably going to be in a position to really get taken advantage of again and again and again. So keep this marathon concept in mind, live by it. Don't just say it as a cool thing or tweet on Instagram or I'm gonna like this post and share this post. If you actually live by it and break it down into segments and work with a bigger timeline, you'll give yourself not only more time, you'll force yourself to make better decisions and then also actually build a foundation that you can leverage to build a real fan base, even if it's not a huge fan base, something that's sustainable, and based on something real. As DJ Payne said, is it not better to be able to at least live doing something that you love versus to say, hey, it's either I'm gonna be the biggest artist in the world or fail. That is something that's a very real scenario for a lot of artists. There's a lot of them that you probably don't even know. So as always, this video is brought to you by brandmannetwork.com because I signed myself if you want to get some kind of help to develop your brand, right, to develop your fan base and really have mentorship, ongoing mentorship, that's what we do at brandmannetwork.com. If you like this video, go ahead and like button. If you like it, you might as well share it. And if you're not subscribed, you know what to do. Hit that subscribe button.